G'day folks, here we have the Cape York Ventura 10 year anniversary edition, the 2017 model. Today I'm going to go through all the features and benefits with you and show you exactly what this bad boy's got. Alright, at the front of your Cape York here, you've got your DO35 off-road hitch. Full articulation, they're very, very easy to use. Self-locating pin slides up inside the receiver and to lock them on, push your button down, that's all it takes. The same as unlocking, push your button down, slide your plate back, it's ready to come off. At the front of your camper you'll find your 50 amp Anderson plug. Have one of them fitted to your car so it'll charge your batteries in your camper trailer while you're travelling along and your standard trailer plug on the front as well. Now the Cape York, we've increased the GVM on that to 2250, so it's got a breakaway braking system as well. So you'll find this wire on the front here, make sure that's attached to the back of your vehicle as well. So heaven forbid your camper comes off, pulls the pin out, locks the brakes on on your camper trailer and stops it in its tracks. On the front you'll find your rated safety chains, rated shackles, all ADR approved. Behind that is your handbrake. When you're taking the camper trailer off, make sure you have your handbrake on nice and tight to stop it from rolling away anywhere. You've got your swing away jockey wheel on the front here, very easy to use, wind it down, pull your handle out, swing it up out of the way. Behind the stone guard here, what you're going to find is your two 4 kilo gas bottle holders, two 20 litre jerry can holders on there as well. You've got your gas regulator there for your bottles. Also on the front here you've got your winch post which helps you open and close your top. In the front toolbox here in your Cape York, simply open up your over centre catches, just remembering they've got a little spring loaded clip on there, so move them out of the way first before you open them down. In the front here, you're going to find one of the biggest fridge slides you'll ever find in a camper trailer. Easy slide out there like that. You'll fit, like generally an 80 litre fridge will fit in here as well, so you get plenty of space in here. You've got a 12 volt socket in there, you've got LED lighting above your head there as well, so plenty of room in here. Also on this side, it's a pantry. Have a look at this. Slide out top there as well, you've got storage top, storage bottom, you've got a drawer there as well. Absolutely plenty of storage in here for you. In behind the little door here is your pole holder. It's a fully sealed box in there, so simply undo your over centre catch, drop that down, and that's where all your poles live in there, out of the way, nice and neat. Here we have the kitchen in the Cape York, one of the best camping kitchens you're ever going to come across in a camper trailer. So simply push your over centre catches open, pull it right out, there you have it. Underneath your glass lids here, lift them both up, four burner stove in there, like as best you'll get, and an off-road four burner stove, not your household variety, because these have got to take a bit of cor corrugation and things like that when you're out off-roading, so they've got to take the punishment. With your sink here, flick mixer tap, hot and cold water in your kitchen as well. Not just cold, hot and cold water. Right across the back here, you've got all these storage bins. You've got two across the back as well. You've got LED lighting in here. You've got LED lighting there, so you can light your kitchen up really well at night time. Across the front here, ample amount of storage here. So, cutlery drawer just there, and a great feature, soft close hinges as well. You've got storage in there. You've got another drawer in there everything you could ask for in your camping kitchen. In your camping kit you're going to find one of these. This is the stabiliser leg for your kitchen. Just underneath here you're going to find a little hole in there. So put your leg in up underneath there, locate it in the hole, undo your nut, let it drop down, take a bit of weight, lock it in. That'll support your kitchen, stop bending hinges and things like that. So it makes it nice and safe. In your camp kitchen, last but not least, this has got a fantastic server he hides underneath here. Have a look at that for bench space. Put all your knickknacks on there, all your bits and pieces. Complete kitchen, they really are a fantastic unit. Lockable water filler too, folks, on your camper trail. It's 120 litres worth of water in the Cape York. Lockable water filler on there, so nice and safe. Everywhere, folks, you're gonna find stainless steel over centre catches. Also, great big stainless steel gas struts. Just makes it so much easier for you to fold your tops over. It takes all the weight out of it, takes all the drama out of it. At the rear of the camper, you'll find two of these. Now, these are rated recovery points as well. So if you've got someone stuck behind you, you can recover them with these points as well. Great feature to have. Once you've undone your over centre catches top and bottom, your spare wheel's ready to be pushed out of the way. So simply grab it, push it out of the way. Once you've got your spare wheel open, grab your pin, drop it down, Lock it into position, that'll hold it still so it's not going to swing around in the breeze. 
In the back of your Cape York, once you've got your spare wheel out of the way, you'll find this door here. What that is, under your compression locks, drop it down, you get access through to your drawers there. There's two great big drawers here in your Cape York. Again, push your catches, drag it right the way out. As you can see, there's plenty of room here to store gear in. It's all carpet lined, so it keeps it nice and neat. At the rear of the camper, this is where you're going to find your 120 litre stainless steel water tank too. It has a shroud over the top of it to help protect it. It's a drain plug on the side so you can empty the water out when you're not using it. Very, very good to have. Underneath the camper trailer, you're going to find independent trailing arm suspension. You bring, you've got shocks as well, and you've got 12 inch electric brakes on the wheels as well. So it's the toughest suspension you'll ever find in a camper trailer. Take it anywhere your car will go. Standard on the Cape York is the 240 volt system. So if you're at a caravan park, you've got a powered side accessible, get yourself a 15 amp lead, plug it straight in to your plug there, and you've got 240 volt power inside your camper trailer. On your boat loader, folks, you're gonna find dual gas struts on there. You've got these rubber boots over top of them as well to keep the dust and stuff out, because that's the first thing that's gonna destroy your seal on there. So before you know it, you've lost your gas, you're gonna to have to get them replaced. But the rubber boots keep all that out of there. This is the back end of your pole holder too, folks. So you've got dual access both sides. So not only access on the other side, you can get to it from this side of the camper as well. Underneath this door, you're gonna find an electrical system like you've never seen in a camper trailer. This is a one of a kind in a camper trailer. It has got absolutely everything in it that you're ever going to need. Have a look at that. Underneath here, full isolation system. So when you're not using your camper trailer, shut your isolator off so it doesn't drain your batteries. So when you do, flick your isolator on, let it power up. What you'll find in here as well is we've got the Red Arc BM30 battery management system. This thing will tell you everything you need to know about your camper trailer. It'll tell you how much battery power you've got, how much charging it's doing, how much power is being used, the temperature of your batteries, which part of the camper trailer is charging it, whether it be your car, whether it be your solar panel, it will tell you absolutely everything. There's a full bank of switches there as well. So it'll tell you what's on at the time. You've got a water level indicator here as well. It'll tell you how much water's in your water tank. So underneath there, standard is the 1000 watt inverter. Very, very easy to use. Simply flick the switch and it'll do everything it needs to do. Running through the equipment that comes with these, you've got a spare wheel brace there as well to check your wheel nuts and make sure they're all tight. In here, three one metre long LED strip lights that come standard with the camper trailer. You've got your hot water system in there, which will show you very shortly how to hook up. That's instant gas hot water. Fire extinguisher as well. Like, you've got absolutely everything in here you ever need. There's a 240 volt power point in there for you. So, really got everything in it that you can ever want in a camper trailer. You've got the lead out of the box now, folks. With your solar panel at the top there, you plug the Anderson plugs in together. So one in there, and you've got another one under your camper trailer, just see? So plug that in, and that permanently powers your solar panel power right through into your camper trailer. Now, undoing the two barrel bolts at the top there, so that'll make your, your um, solar panel come loose. That's it, ready to go. You get your pole just there. So you hook your pole into the top, so get that into your solar panel up there, stand it up to whatever angle you need, undo the C-clip there, stick it on your loader, adjust it to wherever you need to be, it's as simple as that. With all Cape Yorks, you get the Country Comfort Instant Hot Water System. Steve's got it here now, he'll show you where it hangs on the boat rack there. So you simply hang it on the little hook from the boat rack, sit it up there, now you've got two hoses, so your cold water hose fits into your cold water fitting from the side here, so that'll pull water from your tank. So when you're running your hot water system, it's just a quick connect fitting, straight in. Also, you've got your hot water here. You slide that into the bottom of your Country Comfort. Put your other one into the hot water from there. So that way now you're getting hot water to your kitchen area as well. Feed that through there. On the side of your ensuite, there's a zip in the side so you can feed your shower head through there. Hang it on the inside, instant shower. Inside the camper trailer underneath the bed, you'll find your dual 100 amp hour AGM batteries in there. So plenty of battery power in your camper trailer. Also on the far side there, you will find your 240 volt power points in there. You'll find your circuit breakers in there as well. So fully enclosed water pump in there, out of the way of dust, water and any damage. Um, nice and safe. Up in your bed area, you're gonna find full size, queen size inner spring mattress in there. So very comfortable for a great night's sleep. Inside you'll find your Kenwood stereo system. You've got dual speakers in there as well. You've got multiple sockets right the way around the camper trailer. Not only 12 volt points, you've also got USB ones there as well for charging all your phones and all your items. 
All right, we've got the Annex floor in. It's a 600 GSM PVC, very, very heavy duty. Annex walls, Annex roof, all your canvas. It's all 16 ounce close weave canvas. It's very strong, very heavy duty. It's the best you'll ever get. There you go, folks. The Cape York Ventura 10 year anniversary edition, all done and dusted, up ready to use. They're very simple. It's got everything in it you could ever want for a camper trailer. So come into a store and see us shortly. Get out there and enjoy Australia. Escape with confidence, welcome to the MDC group.